Now, some Cape Town homeowners have complained their rates and taxes are shooting up due to new municipal valuations. The city of Cape Town has published a new uh, a general valuation role for properties. On estate agency uh, reportedly saying she saw some of her clients' valuations triple. To discuss, we're joined by the director of Rates Watch, Ben Espesh, from our studio in Pretoria. Thank you for being with us, uh, Ben. So, Cape Town property high, uh, prices are notoriously high. So it means it's become uh, more expensive to own a property there. Uh, good evening, Francis. Yes, um, it may be a bit more expensive from July, but it's a bit early to say exactly how much because we must wait for the tariffs to be determined. Um, and that will only be made available after the budget is approved. So you mean, uh, oh, you, so you can check how much your property is valued at, but you don't know exactly how much you will then pay in terms of rates? That, that is, that's correct. All right, but obviously it'll be uh, very significant if your property valuation uh, triples, like some people are saying. But, but why is there concern? Because uh, we had this in Johannesburg as well, and it, you can just query it or, or dispute it if that valuation is wrong. Yes, it's possible to dispute it, but uh, if it is indeed correct, there's nothing to, to, to dispute. And, and you will have to end up paying rates on that new value, which, as you've indicated, some of them have tripled, may indicate a stiff increase in property rates for some of the owners. And isn't that fair? If the property you're in has uh, shot up in value, you've become richer, shouldn't you pay more into the coffers? Well, uh, the fairness is in the, f in the basis of valuation because the market value of every property must be determined. And that's the basis to, to levy rates. So um, in some cases, you may find that the property value has increased by, by say, three times, but it may have been undervalued previously. Uh, so that's also a possibility for these uh, stiff increases. Some owners may uh, find an increase of maybe t 20 or 30 percent uh, in value and, and may not have that huge increase in rates that, that the other guys will um, experience. Mm. Is Rates Watch involved in any way? Are you going to try and help uh, these property owners in any way? Well, um, if the owners approach us, we uh, do an initial investigation to determine if the pr value is too high. Obviously, if it's too high, we will recommend submitting an objection and we can do that, that on their behalf. Well, and if the property is not too high, the value not too high, there's nothing that one can do. Mm. Uh, and people were uh, worried when this happened in Johannesburg. Some people were frantic, actually, a lot of the um, homeowners associations saying, look at your valuations. Mm. I understand mm. that in the end, only 8,000 were incorrectly valued, which, which means the city basically got it right. Well, well uh, the 8,000 were properties that the municipality identified as being incorrectly valued. They corrected that, but there were a, a number of, uh, of objections. And if I, my memory serves me correct, about 50,000 objections were, were submitted. Um, and which is uh, they right at the end of the process to go through those objections and send out the results. So, so um, th a lot of those where, where we submitted objections, the values were changed to the value that we suggested or close to that. So, so the lesson for uh, property owners is query it. If, if you think it can come down, uh, do your best to, to work with the city of Cape Town. Y yes, um, and, and it must not be a emotional exercise i think the owner must must be realistic to say but if my property w was in the market uh, on the date of valuation which was july last year what what was the realistic price that i would accept for my property and if the value is below that then then there's no there's got he's got no grounds to to object but if he finds that that value is more than he would have realistically achieved this in the market then there, there's a good chance that you will succeed on an, uh, on an objection. 
some of the, the reports coming out around this are interesting, saying things like that in Clifton, uh, average house prices may have doubled just since 2016. So that's in the last three uh, years or so. Does this mean Cape Town is, is really, uh, despite the predictions that it'll cool down, property prices continue to just ex explode? Well, well um, if, if you buy in, 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 in the Clifton area, obviously you, you're in a good area. It's, it's well sought after area. That's why uh, prices will increase by maybe 100% in, in, in a short while. In other areas, um, in Cape Town, or, or the prices may have been increased by 10 or 20% over the last three years. But that's the market. That is based on the supply and demand of property and the owners. Well, the buyers and sellers are, are f creating the market and creating the value. Are you worried about any of the structural issues uh, that people are looking at in Cape Town? There's Airbnb, um, there's foreign property ownership, uh, things that structurally may be keeping house prices high, maybe uh, preventing locals from, from owning uh, land, ever thinking of owning land on, on that beautiful coastline. Is that something that would concern your organization at all? Well, um, <sighs> Th 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 not really, because the, the, that is the market, and they are the, even if you're from overseas and you buy a, a, a property at the Atlantic Seaboard, you're a player in the market. Uh, unfortunately, that drives the, the prices up, and maybe the, the, the local buyers will not be able to afford houses there. All right, uh, let's end it there. Thank you very much. So check your valuation. That was the director of Rates Watch, Ben Espach, from our studio in Pretoria.